Wonderful good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Millennial Products Company Update on Commodity TV. Demand for fertilizers is rising steadily, thanks to the growing world population. But that is only one of the driving forces. Intensive agriculture and climate change mean that the amount of fertile soil available worldwide is declining. Demand for fertilizers is high and will remain so for the foreseeable future. This makes it all the more important to ensure a new supply of fertilizer as quickly as possible. At the forefront of this is Millennial Potter's new potash project. Its Spain Your Potash project offers investors a very attractive opportunity to participate in the exploration and development of a potential potash producer in a proven West African potash bearing basin. Benyo has all the ingredients for near-term success. To ensure the perfect infrastructure for shipping future goods, a joint venture between the Republic of Gabon and the African Conservation Development Group is planning to build a port in Mayumba, right next to Millennia Potash's Potash project. The port is to be built in several phases, with construction of Phase 1 scheduled to begin in the third quarter of 2023. The development of a new port in Mayumba will significantly reduce risk of, for the Banyo Potash project and potentially provide if, it with easy access to potash markets throughout the Atlantic and beyond. Very few potash projects have easy access to ports, and this is a turning point for Millennial Potash. Since 2014, global fertilizer demand has grown from about 34.6 million tons to about 44 million tons this year. Uncertainties caused by the Ukraine war, but the cooling of the global economy contributed to a slight decline. However, further growth is expected in the long term as humanity continues to grow and we have to feed more and more people. Good prospects, therefore, for fertilizer project in Africa. Please note the display disclaimer now. The shares discussed is part of the shared discussed is part of the SSC Mining Special Situation Certificate, and of course, I'm a shareholder in that company. Thanks for watching us, and bye bye from Switzerland.